Watch your thoughts, for they will become words. Watch your words, for they will become actions. Watch your actions, for they will become habits. Watch your habits, for they will forge your character. Frank Outlaw Life in your 30s, 40s, or 50s comes with unique challenges. You're likely balancing a career, personal relationships, maybe even kids, and with that comes stress, frustration, and pressure. If you're here, chances are you're looking for ways to manage it all more effectively. That's where The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz comes in. This isn't just a book. It's a toolkit for personal growth. It offers four practical commitments that can reshape the way you think, speak, and interact at work, at home, and with yourself. These agreements aren't abstract ideas. They're actionable strategies that help you become more intentional with your words, more resilient when things don't go your way, and more focused on progress over perfection. By the end of this video, you'll walk away with tools to improve your communication, reduce unnecessary stress, and strengthen your relationships. Sound good? Let's dive in. Agreement 1. Be impeccable with your word. Words are powerful. They shape your reality and influence those around you. Think about it. At work, a careless comment from a colleague or manager can ruin your day, right? But what about the words you speak? Are you aware of how they affect the people you interact with, your partner, kids, or coworkers? Being impeccable with your word means choosing your words carefully and using them with intention. It's about speaking with integrity, saying only what you mean, and avoiding gossip or self-deprecating talk. Work example. Imagine John is leading a team at work. One of his employees, David, submits a report that's not up to standard. John can say, this is terrible, do it over, or he can be impeccable with his word. David, I noticed a few areas that need adjustment. Let's walk through them together and make it even better. In both cases, John delivers feedback, but only one way encourages growth without damaging trust. Family example. Now let's take it home. Picture this, you've had a long, frustrating day. And the first thing you see when you walk in the door is your kids' toys scattered everywhere. It's easy to snap. Why do you always make such a mess? But being impeccable with your word might sound more like, can we clean up together before dinner? Same goal, but without criticism that can create resentment over time. Actionable tip. Here's a quick challenge. Try not to complain for the next 24 hours about anything. Pay attention to how it shifts your interactions and energy. You'll likely notice how much of your communication can be reframed for clarity and positivity. Agreement 2. Don't take anything personally. Here's the truth. What people say and do is more about them than about you. It reflects their personal experiences, insecurities, and struggles. Yet, we often take things personally, letting them weigh us down. Imagine how much lighter life would be if you stopped taking every piece of criticism to heart. Work example. Let's say your boss, Sarah, critiques your presentation. It's easy to think, she doesn't respect my work or I'm not good enough. But maybe Sarah is stressed about a tight deadline or dealing with her own personal challenges. When you stop taking her words personally, you can approach the situation objectively. Thanks for the feedback. What can I improve for next time? Relationship example. In personal relationships, the stakes feel higher. Imagine your partner, Emily, coming home in a bad mood and snapping at you over something minor, like dishes left in the sink. Instead of internalizing it and thinking, she's mad at me, I messed up, try seeing it from her perspective, this is about her stress, not me. That shift helps you respond calmly, avoiding unnecessary arguments. Actionable tip. Next time someone's words upset you, pause and ask yourself, is this really about me or is it about them? This small habit builds emotional resilience and prevents you from carrying unnecessary burdens. Agreement 3. Don't make assumptions. We've all done it. Jump to conclusions without all the facts. Maybe you assume your coworker ignored your email, or you think your partner is upset because of something you did. These assumptions create misunderstandings, resentment, and conflict. The truth is, most conflicts arise not from reality, but from the stories we tell ourselves about what's happening. Relationship example. Let's say David assumes his wife, Sarah, is upset because he didn't call on his way home. He comes home defensive. I was busy. Why are you always on my case? But what if Sarah wasn't upset about the call at all? What if she just had a rough day and wanted to vent? Instead of assuming, David could ask, how was your day? Is everything okay? 
Work example. Assumptions can wreak havoc at work, too. Imagine John feels that his colleague, Emily, is withholding information on a project. Instead of assuming bad intentions, he could ask directly, Hey, Emily, I noticed we haven't aligned on this part. Can we get on the same page? Actionable tip. Here's a practice. Whenever you feel the urge to assume, replace it with a question. Ask for clarity instead of filling in the gaps with your own story. You'll be amazed at how many conflicts you can avoid with this simple habit. Agreement 4. Always do your best. Doing your best sounds straightforward, but it's important to remember that your best will look different depending on your circumstances. Some days, you'll feel energized and ready to conquer the world. Other days, just showing up will be the best you can do, and that's okay. Work example. Take John, who's been juggling back-to-back -back meetings all day. By the time he gets to his last project, he's drained. Instead of striving for perfection, he focuses on doing his best with the energy he has left. He knows that effort counts, even on tough days. Personal example. At home, doing your best might mean staying present for your family, even when you're exhausted. Maybe David had a rough day at work, but instead of checking out emotionally, he takes 15 minutes to play with his kids or listen to his partner. It's not about grand gestures. It's about consistent effort. Action versus reward. One of the biggest traps is tying your efforts to outcomes. When you focus on doing your best in the moment, you release the pressure of immediate results and enjoy the process more. Whether it's a workout, a work task, or a conversation with a loved one, the value lies in the effort itself. Actionable tip. Commit to doing your best in one specific area for the next week, whether it's being more present at home, staying focused at work, or sticking to a personal goal. See how this shift changes your mindset. Connecting the four agreements. These four agreements are interconnected, and applying them together amplifies their impact. For example, being impeccable with your word makes it easier to avoid assumptions and strengthens your relationships. Not taking things personally helps you communicate more effectively and reduces conflict. And always doing your best ensures you stay committed, even when life gets tough. Imagine this scenario. John gets unexpected criticism at work. Instead of taking it personally, he listens with an open mind, agreement to. He asks clarifying questions instead of making assumptions, agreement three. He responds calmly and professionally, choosing his words carefully, agreement one. And even though the day is hard, he does his best to move forward, agreement four. See how they all work together. The four agreements offer a roadmap for navigating life with more clarity, peace, and purpose. They challenge us to rethink how we speak, react, and interact with others and with ourselves. Change doesn't happen overnight, but small, consistent efforts add up over time. Now it's your turn. Pick one of these agreements, whichever resonates most with you, and try applying it over the next few days. Pay attention to how it shifts your interactions, your thoughts, and your energy. And if you found value in this video, leave a comment below. Share your experiences, what worked, what didn't, or any insights you gain along the way. Let's keep the conversation going and support each other on this journey toward growth and balance. Thank you for watching. Now go out there and make today a little better, one agreement at a time.